Hey YouTube, it's 98 Murder here. I just thought I'd do a little video here, kind of update y'all on my tractors and all that. I haven't haven't been doing much with them. I've been so busy with work, I ain't got time when I get home, so I just they kind of sit here. But I've managed to accumulate some more, so that's what I'm gonna show y'all. Uh, we'll start here at the end. I don't think I've shown this one yet. I can't remember, but this is a snapper all-wheel steer. It's basically a Murray. Um, it is a Murray aside from the hood and dash, really. But of course, Briggs and Stratton bought Snap or bought Murray in 05 when they went bankrupt. They decided to use the platform to on other brands like Snapper, and I think they even did Alex Chalmers versions. Uh, but anyway, this is an all-wheel steer, so the back tires turn with the front tires, and it runs, drives, mows. It's a little it needs some work, but I've been mowing my yard with it, so pretty neat little mower. Um, this one here next to it is a 95 or 96 Murray. Hydrostat, 14 and a half horse Briggs overhead valve. Um, pretty nice little mower, pretty clean for its age. The nose isn't busted up, which is rare on these things. Usually the nose is half gone, if there at all. So this thing runs, it's got wiring issues, um, and it needs tires bad. Them tires go flat quick. So, except for that one. That little dude there is holding in there. But the rest of them are flat, so. I need to get it going. My plan was to get it going and sell it originally, but I kind of like it so much, and I kind of think I'll just get it going and use it just to mow the yard with, because, I mean, I got that one, but it's always nice to have a, a couple of them. Uh, the Husky, I know y'all have seen this one. I've showed this to y'all before. Um, I haven't done much with it. I took the deck off it so it fits in here a little better, because it's, it's getting tight in here. Um, but... I tried to start here a couple months ago, didn't want to start, so I need to take carburetor apart, clean it, and all that, but that's all that's happened with that. Of course, the Lawn Chief, I think I showed y'all this one. It, uh, you know, needs some work. I tried to start it here the other day, it didn't want to start. It's got electrical issues. I couldn't even get to turn over, so, oh well. The deck for this one's off, too. I actually have four mower decks for these style tractors, these big old 42-inch decks, so I got a bunch of them. This little Murray here, I got it a couple years ago and sold it to a buddy of mine with the Husky. I sold him a package deal with a bunch of tractors. Um, I ended up getting it back. Uh, I kind of, he got it for parts, but he hasn't taken but a couple small things off of it. And I think he even said he got it running, but I don't really want to see it part out. It's, it's kind of too good of a tractor. I know it looks rough, but it's pretty complete. Um, I mean, even his battery cover back there, so I'm going to over time eventually get this one going again and just a lot of projects i got this little dude on marketplace a while back a little five horsepower 25 inch cut murray doesn't even have an electric start she is pull start just a basic lawnmower uh it's not in terrible shape the back of the body's all bashed in sadly but it even has a deflector on it i got a couple tires there for the front so uh, i don't think it's getting spark is what the guy told me so i gotta work on that Skipping over here, I got a Scott's. I picked this up today. Um, pretty cheap. Didn't need really much of nothing. I mean, it, it runs and mows, but it doesn't run very good. doesn't mow very good, so it needs work. But it's operational, so that's pretty cool. It's actually in pretty good shape for its age. It's a 99. You know, I can't believe it's a 99. I remember when these things were practically near new. But no, it's a pretty good little mower. Six-speed, 42-inch. Got a 17-horse uh, Intec V-Twin. So pretty neat uh over here i got this craftsman i picked this up a while back i kind of when i first got it i tinkered with it and it acted like i had a broken rod it wouldn't make a full revolution so i kind of you know said the heck with it i set it outside in the yard for decoration and i got this thinking you know i want to see what's actually going on in that engine so i brought it in here i got it up on the table uh, i took the head off and as you can see it has a bunch of bunch of junk in the head all this dirt and stuff all this carbon built up and uh what happened was i guess all that build up there was keeping the valves from wanting to open um specifically like that little chunk there or something because i took the head off and it rolls over now and valves move like they should piston goes up and down like it should so there didn't seem to be anything wrong um i think it's just all that build up on the head there but so that'll be pretty neat. I'll see if I can't get this one going. I don't know if I will be able to or not. It's a pretty neat little mower, though. Pretty good shape for being a 60s model. Um, Got this little snapper down here. This is a cute little dude. 19-inch cut. A little three and a half, or no, just a three-horse Briggs on it. Uh, it's not even self-propelled. It's a push only. 
got this on Marketplace. Uh, they said uh, it's been garage kept its whole life. You know, the pull cord pulled out of it one day. They decided to get rid of it, so snagged it up. It even came with where are they? Came with the original owner's manual and even the receipts. I won't show those. They got the owner's information on there, numbers and stuff. So, but. 1988 model it was like 249 dollars or something that's that's pretty dang neat it's not very often you see that anymore oh, these old mowers um this tiller so before i get to this tiller i've got a go-kart precariously perched on top of these plastic shelves but this is a bird go-kart frame uh no engine it's got tires uh the front steering is all bent up it needs a bit of work but it's cool it's old it's very neat looking so that's what this stuff is here for i have this tiller with a five horse overhead valve briggs engine it runs it leaks gas but it runs pretty good um but i kind of hate to take it off that tiller because it's a working tiller and you know i could sell that tiller and buy an engine or i have this little water pump here trash pump it's got a five horse flathead briggs that I don't know if it runs, and I don't know if it's a tapered shaft, but uh, I'd rather put that engine on that go-kart because it's, you know, flathead. It's a more kind of true to what it would have had. Might that would have had three horse. I don't know, but either way. Um, so that's kind of that plan. I ain't going to get to that anytime soon. That's another one of those, you know, one of these days deals. I don't even know if I'll fit on that thing. It's, it's a little go-kart, but it'll be fun. I got a lawn boy down here. Uh, it's another one of them projects. One of these days we'll get to it. I started tearing it apart just a little bit. Um, so that'll be a fun deal. Of course, I got the Huffy there. It's doing good. It does. It's been doing a lot of mowing this year. It's been a good one. I've been mowing a lot with that Murray right there, too. They've both been pretty good mowers. So I got all the handles kind of stored over here. I need to put a hook or something on the wall. I got to find a better way to store them there. But anyway... That's about it. I got a couple more mowers outside. I'm not going to show y'all. Basically just the little 11 horsepower 36 inch Husky, which is like a little brother to that one there. And a, uh, my Fairbanks Morse mower, which I haven't shown, I don't know, ever. But it's nothing interesting. It's basically a pile of parts and it's going away to a new home very soon. It was supposed to leave the other day, but didn't work out. No big deal. It'll leave mm, sometime this spring, hopefully. But it's not my way anyway. So that's it. I got a lot of tractors. I try to keep enough room to park my car in here. I've been successful, but I'm running out of space. So, and one of, one of these days, build a wooden shelving rack to go here and have tractors too high because I got enough room. Well, except for there, I got the garage door in the way. I can put like three more tractors here. But nah, I don't know if I'll ever get to that. That's ambitious. Ambitious. I'd rather buy a shed first, probably. Anyway, that's it. I'll try and show y'all more as I do more on these. Um, I don't know if I'll work on this next or that one or what, but as I do some more, I'll try and show y'all some more videos on this stuff. Just try to, I don't know, if someone's interested or whatever. If y'all want to see anything in particular, drop a comment. Let me know. I'll do my best to show y'all or point it out or whatever. So, anyways, appreciate it, y'all, and I'll catch y'all later.